Hey everyone. So I wanted to uh, do another check-in life update for you guys. Um, you are in my ashtray because I can't find my uh, I can't find my phone holder. <laughs> Anyways, I was trying to look for it right now. I wanted to share an epiphany with everyone. An epiphany I had today because I was talking with my mom. Um, if you if you guys are just tuning to my channel, uh, I'm dealing with the grief of my brother, my older brother, passing uh, last Thursday, and it's still new. It's still fresh, so. My emotions are a little bit rattled, but I'm still encouraged. I'm still inspired. Uh, like, I was very strong throughout the week. And today, I just kept hearing the word sibling. And every I heard it every hour of the day. For some odd reason, someone was saying sibling or my brother or, you know. So I just got a little emotional. And it comes and it goes and it comes and I, like grief and death are two separate entities that I had never known so well until last Thursday. But that's not the topic that I wanted to go on. I really want to talk about how the surrogate parents. OK, people running the red light. The parents. OK, so if you guys follow the theory of star seeds, right? Apparently, the 144,000, the elect, uh, the shiny ones, the Palladians, the indigo children, the rainbow children, the star seeds, they're all, they're all like delivered here to this earth. And the people who have given birth to these souls that host the body, the physical body hosts the souls of all these elect. And the souls uh, that are in those bodies, okay, those parents are literally like coming back to an awakening experience. They are being caught up to the 2012 timeline. And it's weird because in 2012, many of us were awakened because a lot of us are like, oh, the Illuminati and all oh, this song and that song and all oh, this celebrity and devil worship. And what's funny is that is where our parents are at right now. <laughs> Someone almost got hit by a car. There's my affirmation. I saved your life. Um, my mom said something today. And it was in regards of my brother's death. She said, um, she's like, wow, it's very interesting. The uh, ratio of the many deaths over this vaping issue, how many more lives are going to be taken out from vaping? And then my, my mom went in to say, it's an intention. And I was like, what kind of intention would you suppose this would be, mother? And she was like, well, if their uh, agenda is to depopulize, you know, of the world. And I was like, oh, shoot, she's caught up. I would have never thought she would say that. I would never have thought she was in that mindset. She said, it, you know, if they take down the, the, you know, the number of people, let me turn my light, turn on, take down the number of people uh, then they wouldn't have a global crisis. <laughs> so how would they do it? Well, she was like, well, they would lie to everyone about uh, vaping. They would lie to everyone about CBD oil. They would try to convince everyone. They would make it look like it's not hazardous until they say, oh, it's hazardous. But then too many lives would have already been gone. So she's like, imagine how many different things in the world right now food and other things, products that people don't know what is going to mutate their genetics and DNA. 
This is word for word what my mom said. My mouth hit the floor. What does she know about DNA changes and ascension? I would have never in a million years. So I, I, I was actually very taken back. Um, I was almost in happy tears. My sad tears were going to become happy tears because you guys keep seeing that light flash on my left. Huh? Um, I'm so proud of her. Just so proud of my mom. Like, just to see her wake up and come to this, um, this, this, this reality, this new, you know, I'm just very happy. Very, very happy. Um, but then she and I were going into thought process on how to develop a charity uh, in my brother's honor and how do we spread awareness to many, many people about check the content of, you know, the things you put in your body, check your blood pressure, uh, make sure your heart, your EKGs are doing well. Um, so we're going to be doing a lot and I hope you guys are a part of it too and helping uh, continue spread Girl, why are you crossing the street and the light? People don't think. What is wrong with people? They just cross the street knowing that the light is red for them. And that's what I'm talking about. There's some weird epidemic going on with uh, the mind concentration. Uh, there's so much crap that's going on. I just don't understand. How is it possible that this much uh, people are just not paying attention to life? People are not really focused and people just kind of like don't really care, you know? And I, I actually fall victim of some of it because, you know, uh, I always talk about the uh, uh, electromagnetic pulses and the, uh, you know, I talk about all this stuff, the, the, uh, electronic weapon technology and how it targets awakened people who don't fall for the brainwashing bullshit. And a lot of times I say it, I'll record a video about it, and then you'll see like a few, I don't know what, a few months down the line, a revelation comes about. And I'm just happy that at least I can tap in and I could uh, bring something to a conscious mindset and I can share it with many people. Let me wipe off my camera. I can share it with many people and then after it's shared, it's ushered into our 3D density. All right. Now it's time to walk home. <laughs> Anyways, uh... That's all I really want to share with you guys. I want to keep it sweet and simple. I'll be on to another topic, um, possibly later today if I have the energy. Um, I'll share a lot with everyone. I'll be getting a lot of insights about uh, the next coming shift. So stay tuned for that video. I'll talk to you guys later.